Good evening, everybody. My name is Benjamin Page, and today we are going to be discussing drones. You're supposed to clap. This is one of the emerging technologies that is going to be amazing once everything is all figured out. But you guys might be wondering, what is a drone? Well, according to Rand, an unmanned aerial vehicle, or a UAV, is an aircraft that carries no human pilot or passengers. UAVs are often called drones at times. They can be fully and partially autonomous, but are more often controlled remotely by a human pilot. And the organization that gave us this definition, their research has contributed to the public discussion on the use of drones for warfare and surveillance. So who is using drones? Other than warfare and surveillance, uh, it has actually evolved into delivery services. So other than people doing surveillance, filming for news, doing deliveries, or even purposes of film. Like, just look at my older brother. He flies drones. He does weddings. Check him out. <laughs> From the business perspective that I like to see it, uh, they're using drones for the sake of convenience along with time management. And I can't remember the source that uh, Dr. Zhang gave us uh, over the past summer during our emerging technologies course, but in one of those sources, he provided an example for medical uses of drones when they're transporting medicines between hospitals amongst and between different states. Same day deliveries. Drones are currently being used today and soon enough, Amazon will take over. And once that function is available, I will be the first person to see a mattress. And whoever is in Boone, if I'm still here, you're gonna see that mattress and you're gonna say, wow. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Technical characteristics and why it works include ECS or electronic speed controllers, an electronic circuit that controls a motor speed and direction, flight control GPS module battery antenna with receiver cameras and sensors, including ultrasonic sensors and collision avoidance sensors and also altitude measuring sensors. Current development between drones in the United States and Canada is about 65 to 45 percent judging by this photo here. And here are other countries as well. Oh yeah, we're still talking about Canada. Did I forget about that? I, 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 forgot, I think I forgot to mention that, but yeah. And judging by this photo, mainly Southern Canada is where a majority of the drones are at, but drones are also being used within Air Canada cargo, drone deliveries, Astro Aerial, and more as you see in this image right here. Negative impacts include mainly privacy limitations as well as laws based on flying machines and objects. This means you can fly over certain areas, otherwise somebody with the authority is coming after you. Oh, thought I heard something. Future opportunities include the multiple designs from engineers to put to the test, and there's gonna be a lot more maintenance and a lot more configuration as it will be the next big thing under Internet of Things. And speaking of engineers, here's what one does. I know we've already covered a few applications such as delivery and shipping, but I also admire geographical mapping and weather forecasting, which would be the most efficient tool for our group assignments for this course. But doing a SWOT analysis on drones himself, strengths would include unbelievable emergence of technology, which will attract attention, will increase the convenience, and it will increase the more time the tool is used. A weakness? Some people may not like it. Whether it's privacy or they don't want to see them fly over their cars and such. Whereas opportunities can include expanding with suppliers and become greater. Whereas a threat would be the increase in demand, committing the lawful acts, and all the bad attention you get from the media. Just like coronavirus and 5G towers. I hope that SWOT analysis was good. I made it up. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think. Mass adoption is currently in the process. However, it's the laws and regulations due to flying and privacy that causes the barriers. But once everything is implemented and to flying its directed route, it might be the day. However, drones are gonna cause a global impact due to the international air services of traveling. However, a negative impact can be seen as simply the rise in demands and the controversial limitations. The future is now. Thank you.